Tens of thousands of unmarried mums gave up their children between the 1940s and 1970s, pressured by society and, well, perhaps the state. Last night's uh, close-up investigation saw some of them calling for an official apology. This was the Justice Minister Judith Collins's reply. These were decisions made by their family members and, uh, and frankly, society frowned very deeply on mothers, unwed mothers of babies. You know, I'm always happy to look at what we can do, but I think too we need to realise there are a lot of others who would rather that we didn't do this. An Australian inquiry is calling for a state apology and compensation over this uh, very issue, so why not the same here? With us now is Labour MP and long-time adoption law reform campaigner, Leanne Dalzell. Good morning to you, Leanne. Good morning. Let's deal with Judith Collins's response first. What she, is she just basically running for cover here because the government is worried about compensation, worried about uh, possible lawsuits? I haven't discussed it with her, but I think that it, that may be behind what she said. I think that if you think about what she said, the societal pressure, the family pressure was very real, and I think we do have to acknowledge that. But I think the state did play a role, and uh, you know it does deserve some investigation here. And I think um, you know to ask for an apology, I don't think that that's an unreasonable thing to ask for. When you look at our way of settling grievances with Māori over many years, I've spoken to uh, Komatua who've told me that there is no way that they would settle unless there was an apology as the foundation stone of the settlement. Yeah, I mean, the feedback we've had from, from people who have experienced this, uh, this situation have said, you know, it was government departments that allowed this to happen, um, midwives or whatever, and then also government departments that meant that the, the, um, those that are adopted out couldn't chase up and and try and find their parents. That's right, and that's why when Jonathan Hunt uh, took that um, groundbreaking legislation through Parliament, the Adult Adoption Information Bill, uh, and had that passed, I know that he got letters from people all around the country and people who'd moved away from New Zealand, you know, thanking him for at last opening up that possibility of reconnecting. Um, I mean, look, I'll, I'll just share a personal story. My husband's on two corners of that triangle, because it is a triangle. And uh, on, on one corner, he was um, his, his father brought him home uh, to be adopted by, by him and his, and, and, to, and his mother, as he thought, for many, many years. Um, and on the other side, he, as a young man, he fathered a child who was adopted out. And, and that triangle is a very... Um, it, it's a deeply personal and emotional triangle. And when I hear Marilyn's story, and you know, I want to congratulate her for speaking out, because she's speaking for so many people who, who haven't been able to speak out, who felt that they were silenced by, by the shame that was um, put on them. And it wasn't just put on them by their families and society, it was put on them by the state. And, and I think she's asking to be heard, and I think we, the Parliament, should give her the opportunity to be heard. I want to come back to this issue. Was it just a moral situation of the time that was how, you know, a church, more of a church-based society, morals, whatever, or was there people in positions of power within the state, within the Ministry of Health, etc., who thought this was actually the best thing to do for the children? Well, I think both. I think both of those um, ends of the spectrum are correct. And I do think that the, the state was acting in what it thought was the best interests of the child. But what we know today about attachment, what we know about um, bringing children up and supporting them from that very early stage in their lives, we actually know that maybe a more open process would have been better. And, you know, as I say in my own husband's case, he didn't find out till he was in his 30s that his mother wasn't actually his mother. And a lot of the questions that he had as a child were answered when he knew that, so, you know, that, sen that sense that she was resenting him yeah. uh, what was actually real. So that could cause, that could reduce an enormous amount of anger. So you're saying, is it just, just we've got to go, but I mean, time to change the Adoption Act to make that an easier process, to make those connections think, a bit I easier? Think, look, 1955 legislation it's got to change. There is time for real change here. Leanne Dalzell, thank you very much for your time.